My Extraterrestrial Encounter by Christian Fedor Flores Cordova Copyright 2010 My Extraterrestrial Encounter My implantation, as I call it, happened in two nights. The first night, I went to bed with my ex. She was a Polish woman who I met through uh, in a very extraordinary way. Five years earlier, as I was sleeping on the fourth floor of an apartment block, as I slept peacefully, I felt that I was being tugged or pulled by my leg, my left leg. I woke up thinking that it was probably my brother who, um, who lived with me and was using the second smaller bedroom. As I became aware that it was in fact not my brother, but a figure, because I woke up but a figure, much shorter than, than my brother, suddenly and with a, a great awe, I realized that this was not a person but a figure much like that of a child radiating intense blue light and his skin was both like opalescent and shimmering translucent glass. As I observed it from head to toe, it was standing at the foot of my bed on my left side. It raised its left arm and pointed towards the opposing, opposing wall and it really began to play of what I assumed was the next day. As I watched the movie, I became aware that it was me talking over the, over the phone to the lady that I was supposed to talk to the next day and every single word was stuck in my mind till the next day but somehow I fell asleep again yet still remembered the dream which is what I thought it was all of the words that this lady spoke in this movie were exactly the same as the movie that the being had shown me I told the lady in the movie, I actually, I'm sorry, I told the lady, I actually played a game with her and uh, I said every word that she was going to utter before she said, before she said them to me and as well as telling her what had occurred during the night. This obviously made a very large impact on her and asked me to visit her as promptly as possible. She became my girlfriend for seven years. So back to how I began this story. The first night of my encounters with the implanting grays. In my sleep, I felt a noise in, and a presence in the house. We were sleeping in the second floor of a house that was directly opposing the George's River in the southwest of Sydney in Australia. Right next to the Holdsworth barracks. So, as I arose to verify that nothing was going on, I realized that the bedroom felt kind of strange. I felt watched, perhaps observed. You know that feeling that you get when you're being watched? Something from the left side of the room, and so I looked at the wall. To my surprise and, and immense curiosity, the wall began to ripple in an area no bigger than a meter in diameter. This was also accompanied by a gas-like appearance. This did not last more than two seconds as the head, the head of what now I understand to be a grey alien began extruding literally out of the area where the rippling was occurring. <clears throat> It stuck its head out, but stopped short of coming out of the wall completely. And only its head and neck were visible. It stopped moving forward and began slowly moving its head like scanning the room from left to right. I remember saying to myself, I can't believe, um, can't believe they are real. 
Wow, it almost looks like a cat looking for prey. And as I was saying that to me to myself, it is its eyes caught my attention. They were perfectly round, curved. They were massive compared to anything I had ever seen. Curved and wrapped around the head. The color of the eyes was reflective reflective black and the skin of this creature was not grey but a s steel coal blue and slightly speckled in appearance. As the eyes moved to look at me, all I was able to look at was the depth of its eyes. For some reason that was all I, rem I remember that night. The next day, all I could say was what the hell was that? I couldn't believe that they were real, even though I had, I have seen things earlier uh, in my life that I know I, I, I that now I understand to be totally connected with the phenomena of uh, alien visitation. But still, that time <coughs> in my life, I had never put two until that time in in my life. I had never put two and two together regarding my extraterrestrial contact as such. I say this because I have memories due to a near-death experience in a river that showed me my entire short life of seven years because this um, NDE happened when I was seven years old. <coughs> Sorry. This experience had um, reminded me of um, the short hooded creatures that visited me as as a two-year-old in bed and the, the year prior to my NDE where me and my family had watched had <coughs> a very large orange sphere do an aerial display in front of us at the same location we experienced a show of flying acrobatics of 20 other smaller silver spheres that came in and out of this large orange UFO it was right in front of us, no more than 300 meters away from where we camped and several and several other sightings in the daytime and night back in my hometown in Santiago, Chile. The next night I arose, virtually thinking that something was wrong. And as I sat up straight, I became immediately entranced and transfixed at the most amazing sight of four humanoid creatures standing at the foot of, of our bed there was one one small uh, three foot tall uh, by the side of the bed and another short one of tan color by my uh, right side by my side it slowly up and he was slowly approaching me and two very tall white beings similar but not as the disproportioned as the smaller ones, they had no hair at all with slanted black eyes, much smaller than the shorter ones but still a bit bigger than human eyes and with skin white as paper and very long spindly limbs. They had six extremely long fingers and as I was digesting this incredible vision, my field of, of sight became narrower and physically felt that my consciousness was being slow, that I was slowing as if I was uh, being, sh as if I was shutting down somehow. As the corners of my vision were becoming more tunnel like, I was saying to myself, I am not going to give up. I will remember this. I will remember you. I will fix you to my memory. I will recall you and what you look like. I will never forget. As I was saying this in my mind, I, f I forced my eyes to continue looking at the tall white that appeared to be inserting a small cylinder object that literally floated in front of the <coughs> this creature's finger. And I was, and as I watched this, I could also see at the edge of my vision that the tan shorter being was approaching me until I felt a nudge on the right side of my head and all went black. Next day 
I woke up to look at my foot and there was five needle-like dots in the webbing between my large right big toe. I told my ex what transpired during the night. She said, wow, I have, n I have heard of these beings, but I have never seen someone show me anything to do with their actual presence. We took photos later, later and during the day. <coughs> Following this encounter, I didn't realize that I had been implanted with anything. So I kind of felt special somehow and privileged of having this type of experience. And I did think that maybe I should take x-rays of my right foot, but my doubts and fears stopped me from completely accepting this as a total reality. So if in fact it was real, I didn't wish to factualize it or, <coughs> or really verify it. It was scary to tell, to tell you the truth, to be honest. So I didn't. Re I, I did in relation to this was to express. So I did in relation to this was to express it through my artistic work, such as images of greys, greys touching a fetus, like a picture that I, that I posted some time ago, and of a grey holding the, the the world in in its hand. And many other collages of space graphs and stuff, things like that. <coughs> so eight years pass until I began to use the internet on a daily basis and found websites with UFO content. But it was not until I discovered YouTube that I started looking for videos <coughs> of UFOs and UFO sightings. That I came, I crossed the video that Dr. Roger Lear had posted, had posted, <coughs> where he was extracting. Allegedly, an implant from a lady from exactly the same area of the foot, which I believe was the um, same. So this video changed my mind. Um, not well. This video changed my life completely. Completely, to put it mildly, my head was spinning, and all manner of ideas and emotions crossed my mind. So I finally. Uh, I thought, okay, well, I guess there is no way I can continue fooling myself, and I got the x-rays taken, which showed a uh, small rice size object at the base of my foot, even though that is not exactly the same spot where I saw the alien directing the, um, the, the object, and it's, it's still there. Um, so these uh, x-rays I gave to um, Daryl Sims, so... Uh, been more than two years ago now for analysis but i haven't heard from him since now for me there is no room for doubt anymore because many things have already happened and continue happening in my life in regards to the alien uh, phenomena and how it plays out in my life yeah um, since uh, this uh, particular event i've had other events which i will keep you posted with uh, whilst i um you know post and um, stories and other things. Anyway, um, have a good night and uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.